Soldiers and Sailors is um, not only a memorial, but a museum. And that came about uh, pretty early on. As soon as the building opened in 1910, people wanted to bring mementos from their fathers, their sons, their brothers. Uh, they looked at this as a, a place that could preserve them. And again, it wasn't meant to be a museum, but it grew into becoming a museum. And today, that's a big component of what we do. And our focus primarily, we start with the Civil War, but our focus is really the soldier, the American soldier. We're not a war museum. We're not looking at causes of war. We're not comparing uh, German equipment to American equipment or Japanese to American or Confederate to Union. We're looking at soldiers and, and mostly from our own community here because the, the artifacts have been donated from our community. So it gives us a very personal look at um, what it was like to be in service and it, and it gives us a chance to pay homage to that. And one of our more recent displays uh, that's right behind me is a Medal of Honor display. And we started, I've been here seven years, and at one time there was a Medal of Honor in our collection. And when we were um, not as adept at museum, as, at being a museum and uh, things got misplaced or, or uh, you know, it's a frequent problem in museums and their older administrations. Now, now we have things documented, inventoried, we know what we have and everything's safe, but at a time, that particular Medal of Honor uh, has gotten away from us. But in the seven years I've been here, I've been able to um, bring in five different Medals of Honor. So what you're seeing here, the first one is a Civil War Medal of Honor. Um, it was given to Charles Higby. He captured a Confederate flag in the Appomattox campaign. The second one is John Kirkwood. He was a soldier, a cavalry soldier in the Indian Wars in the Custer Expedition, mopping up um, the remnants of, of uh, looking for Indian villages who, uh, or Indians who were involved in the Custer Massacre. The third one is John Minnick. He was a World War II soldier, uh, killed at the uh, Battle of the Bulge, and uh, he received a Medal of Honor. The fourth one is uh, uh, William Shuck. Uh, he was a, a Marine who was killed in Korea, uh, received a Medal of Honor. And our fourth one, uh, our fifth one, excuse me, we uh, just uh, were lucky enough to receive from the family is William R. Prom, and he was a Marine that was uh, killed in Vietnam, and in uh, the event of his death uh, was recognized with a Medal of Honor. When we opened in 1910, uh, one of the events that was hosted here was the first annual meeting of the Military Order of the Medal of Honor. And as you can imagine, 1910, there had only been a few conflicts. The medal was actually for, given the first time uh, for, in the Civil War in 1863. So we had the Civil War and the, and the uh, Spanish-American War, the only two conflicts. Um, but at that uh, convention, uh, the meeting was held here in this room, and the people in this uh, print were present for that. Um, all Medal of Honor recipients, uh, most of them are wearing their medal. Probably most notably in the picture is General Dan Sickles. He was a New York politician and a general at Gettysburg commanding the Third Corps. Uh, he moved his corps out of position. He's either considered the hero or the goat of the battle. He considered himself the hero because later he, he was politically influential enough to nominate himself for a Medal of Honor and received one. He also lost his leg at, at Gettysburg, was quite an event. And he's seated in that, um, in that picture. You can't see that he doesn't have a leg, but um, veterans always were very excited to have him anywhere, and he uh, intentionally wouldn't wear his prosthetic so he could hobble around on his crutch. But the photograph was taken just to my right uh, in 1910 in this very room.